nursery. How good to see you all again. And lots of you here for another story from me and Rusty. Hope you've had a good week. I wonder what you've been doing. We've been out for lots of walks, haven't we? Lots of walks, lots of cuddles and lots of stories. And today's story that we are going to share with you is Wakey Wakey Big Brown Bear. So get yourselves comfortable. We hope you enjoy this story and here we go. Wakey Wakey Big Brown Bear. Autumn was coming. Bright berries shone like jewels. Leaves danced to the ground. And it was time for Big Brown Bear's long sleep. He would sleep through the pretty autumn and the sparkly winter too. And he wouldn't wake up again until the spring. I'll miss all the fun, he yawned. Little Grey Mouse and Snow Hare tucked Big Brown Bear into bed and Squirrel read him a story. Then it was time for him to sleep. You'll be awake before you know it, they all said. But I really want to stay up sighed Big Big Brown Bear. You see, I've never rolled in crunchy leaves or jumped in giant rain puddles or made a fluffy snow bear just like me. wake you up, squeaked little grey mouse. When the forest is a carpet of leaves, then we'll roll in them together, you and me. And we'll jump in puddles, Snow Hare said. When the rain comes tumbling down. And we'll build a snow bear together, smiled Squirrel. We'll wake you up. You'll see. Thanks, said Big Big Brown Bear, his head growing heavy with dreams. And in a blink, he was fast asleep as the wind swept by. Little Grey Mouse tried to wake his friend when the forest was a carpet of leaves. Wakey, wakey, Big Brown Bear, he called. But Big Brown Bear slept on. Well, sighed little grey mouse, I'll keep some crunchy leaves, just in case. Snow Hare tried to wake her friend when the rain came tumbling down. Wakey, wakey, big brown bear, she called. But big brown Bear slept on. Oh, cried Snow Hair, giant puddles! And she collected some raindrops in buckets 
and bowls, just in case. Finally, Squirrel tried to wake his friend. Wakey, wakey, big brown bear, she called. But big brown bear slept on. Giggled Squirrel, shaking a pillow until feathers danced like snowflakes. I'll keep a nice big bundle of these, just in case. Big Brown Bear was missing all the fun. What shall we do? asked Little Grey Mouse. We must wait till spring, Snow Hair sighed. And then, giggled Squirrel, I know what we'll do. And he whispered a plan to the others. At last, Big Brown Bear yawned awake. The grass was soft and green and bright new leaves filled the trees. Oh dear, he sighed. It must be spring and I've missed all the fun. He rubbed his eyes. But wait, what was this? Surprise! cried all his friends. We saved autumn and winter just for you. There were crunchy leaves to roll in, giant puddles to jump in, and feathers to build a fluffy snow bear too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, cried Brown Bear. But suddenly, his friends had great big yawns. So, Big Brown Bear tucked them all into bed. Night, night, he whispered softly, as their heads grew heavy with dreams. Night, night, Big Brown Bear, they whispered back. The end. Well, that was a nice story, wasn't it? And poor Brown Bear missed all those exciting things that happen in autumn and winter. And he really wanted to experience them or see what they were like. But bears sleep in the winter. That's what happens. But what lovely friends he had. Keeping all the leaves and the puddles and the feathers to make snowmen so he could understand the fun it is in those months. I hope you have friends as good as that and I'm sure that you would be a good friend and do those things, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Friends are kind to each other, aren't we? Yeah, we're kind to each other. Anyway, nursery, it's been lovely to see you again and we hope you have a great week Keep happy and Rusty and I will see you next week.